Welcome back to Instagram vs Reality, the segment on the channel where we call out bad photoshop practices and impossible beauty standards with science or just basic common sense. As always, these videos are intended to be informative and are not aimed to target or slander anyone's brand. This week's submissions are from r slash Instagram reality. For our first example, we have Miranda Kerr and as we can see from these wonky lines on the carpet, this picture has been heavily edited. You don't have to be an expert to see it for yourself. They have widened her hips and shrunk her knees down and so we can fix the picture by finding the vanishing point. A vanishing point in an image is the point towards which all of the lines seem to converge. Any line we draw from that point should line up with all of the lines converging towards the vanishing point. We can use that as a guide to help us make these curved lines straight again. To fix that, we can use our trusty liquify tool. This is the reason why professional retouchers do not use excessive liquify and even if they do, it's only on clothing to make the creases go away or to make baggy clothes fit better. Complex geometry such as the carpet is very easy to spot if disturbed. And so as you can see, there's not a lot of difference between the before and after. So the use of liquify here was subtle and you're going to see a similar pattern in the rest of our examples today. Moving on to our second example, what we have here is yet another unnecessary edit. This seems to be a trend nowadays where people edit their photos way too much even when it's not needed and in the process they forget about perspective, how and where the model is placed or how he or she is positioned with respect to the camera and the surroundings. As you can see here, they have bulged her left hip out way too much which shouldn't look like that because we should only be seeing her right hip and not the left one. And even if we do, there shouldn't be that much of a curve. The curvature is emphasized to the point that she looks pregnant. That could still be the case but her right hand begs to differ. If you see closely, her right hand is stretched out so they definitely have edited this picture. We can fix this by using the liquify tool but first extract the background behind her so that we can edit the foreground without affecting the background. Even if we distort it using the liquify tool, which we are going to have to, we won't affect the background. This is why you should either have your subject on a plain background or cut the subject out of the background altogether so that you have more control on what you can and cannot change. As you can see from our example, the background was affected so we can use the layer that we extracted to fix it with a little bit of the clone stamp tool. Now her leg placement and hips are much more natural than it looked at the start. Moving on to exhibit C, what we have is not that bad because it is somewhat accurate as these proportions can be realistic but what we can also see is that the wall behind her is bent outwards. You can't really be too critical about these types of edits because they're probably done on phones where your thumbs have a lot less control. It's surprising because these things get called out everywhere and people make reaction videos to it yet people are still making the same mistakes over and over. The need for editing each and every single picture arises from celebrities, especially so-called Instagram influencers, who we know for a fact heavily edit their pictures and their respective audiences try to follow the trend of getting the perfect hourglass shape without the proper knowledge of the tools that are used to achieve it. For men, the equivalent would be fake natural bodybuilders who promote a natural lifestyle and natural gains while being heavily on exogenous testosterone. To fix this, we're going to use the forward warp tool from the liquify toolbar. Again, it's not too different from the original, but the need to edit is simply human nature to want that little bit more and sometimes ruin an already good thing. Speaking of men's examples, our fourth example is of somebody who's made Adobe gains. This one is not hard to miss as it checks all of the boxes of a bad liquify edit. There are distorted pixels, blur zones and distinctly bendy lines in the background. He's used the liquify tool to bulge out his biceps, triceps, thighs and also his calf. This is a combination of tools which would be called something else in another software but in Photoshop it's the forward warp and the bloat tool. These tools do exactly what their name suggests. The forward warp tool pushes the pixels forward while you click and drag your cursor and the bloat tool bloats the pixels away from the center of the brush. You can spot the use of the first tool near his left thigh where the concrete block behind him is following the shape of his thigh and left shoulder. 
The second tool has been used on his left bicep and his left thigh, where you can see his jeans start to look blurry and distorted. He clearly has overdone it, and that's why it looks blurry in some places, places where he's used the tool, and sharper in others where they were not touched. To fix it, we can use the same old liquify tool to undo his work, or to be more specific, the combination of the forward warp and the pocket tool to push the pixels around without further damaging the picture, which is impossible at this point, but we can still make it better to some extent. Our next example is about impossible proportions that we talked about earlier. You can tell this picture has been edited as her left hand is squished from the liquify tool and her waist is smaller than her head. Credit where credit is due however, that she had the right idea about background selection. It's just a plain grey background which helps with two things. Distorting the picture with no noticeable difference in the background and fixing the white balance in post-production. We can do the reverse of what she has done and fix it using the liquify tool by slowly pushing her waist and her left hand outwards. As you can see, it looks much more realistic and even then she's manipulating angles by twisting her body away from the camera to make it slimmer. Since we're talking about impossible proportions, we might as well stay on the topic. In this example, her head looks way too big and it's not possible to have such a big head with such a small neck. There are obviously exceptions with people of different builds that do not follow these rules, but this is not one of those cases. As you can see in the background, the chair is curved downwards, which probably happened while she was making her neck look thinner. There is a trend in China where they want smaller necks, bigger eyes and a pointy chin. Obviously here she went overboard and it's noticeable. The chin is very pointy and perfectly shaped, but then again, that could really just be the case. You can't tell with these pictures because they're so heavily edited. Maybe she didn't actually edit her chin to make her look more pointy, but you can't be sure unless you have an unedited picture of that person. That's why less is always more in terms of editing a picture. To fix this, we're using the good old liquify tool to bring her neck back to a realistic size and using the face aware tool to decrease her head width. The face aware tool is part of the Adobe Sensei package where using artificial intelligence, Photoshop can detect a face and its features which can be then adjusted discreetly. The features are pretty limited and using the brush to do it yourself is ideal, but in this case it does help with the head width by moving all of the pixels in one swift motion. This one, it's not as bad as the others in terms of proportions, but in terms of editing, it is very sloppy because the telltale signs are still there. If you zoom in to the region around her butt, you can see that the fence and the door frame behind her have warped around her. It might not be obvious at first, but the pattern print of her onesie is ever so slightly blurred and sheared from the surrounding pixels due to the liquify tool disrupting the area. She probably used a phone app to edit the picture. As you can see in the shadow, the guy is holding a phone and not a camera, in which case you would use Photoshop to edit the raw image file. To fix it, we're going to use the liquify tool once again to straighten out the fence and the door. Instantly you can see the difference between the before and after, and again it's quite subtle. I don't know why she thought she had to edit it, because the risk to reward is very low here. Examples like this are proof of an over-reliance on photo editing and altering proportions when it's not needed, not only in women but men too. Once you know what to look for, it's often better to leave the photo untouched unless you can guarantee a perfect cover-up. Here is another guy enjoying Adobe Gains and he thought he was going to get away with it too, seeing how subtle these changes are, but little does he know that Koo's studio was running short of content this week and needed it to get to the 10 minute mark. Also, you can see in the background that near his right shoulder, the stall door is kind of curved outwards and the frame on the left side is bent too. To fix this, we're going to reverse engineer what he's done using the liquify tool. Notice that it's not much of a difference between the before and after, so it is genuinely hard to understand as to why he felt the need to edit his picture when the end result is not that far off from the original. And our lucky last example, it's not bad in terms of editing and background choice, but in terms of the proportions, well, that's a different story. It's just common sense that a waist of that size is not going to be able to fit all of the organs required. Her waist also looks smaller than her head, like in our previous example, which is not possible unless you have a procedure done to take the lower ribs out. 
It's called a rib resection and it's often very frighteningly done to get the hourglass shape of the body. But the ribs exist for a reason, so just pray you don't bump into anyone or you might accidentally die. Even then, your waist does not become lesser than the size of your head. You can't really appreciate how it's edited here because there are no blur zones or stretched out pixels and that's your only silver lining there. This is why in terms of editing, it's okay, but it's just absurd in terms of physical proportions, which is where the common sense part of the series comes in, because you don't have to be a professional to know that these measurements are just impossible to achieve. We're going to use the same old liquify technique to fix this one as well. Using the forward warp tool, we can carefully push her waist outwards, and we don't need to care about the background here, because it is already messy, so even if we do push things around, it's going to look like the creases on her bedsheet. It's clear that the final result is much more realistic than the original. Alright, that brings this episode to a close. Hopefully you've learned something about Photoshop techniques. We've covered everything here in a previous video somewhere along in the series, so I recommend watching it all to get up to date. I also encourage you to follow us on Instagram where we post quality morphs and the before and afters of the examples that you've seen here in this video so that you can see it for yourself. As always, if you're enjoying the content, you can really support the channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell to catch future episodes.